hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben, and this is our little hitchhiker, River. We all travel full time on the road, living in our self converted sprinter van, Sophia. Last week, we met up with our friends Tanya and Adam on the shores of Lake Annecy in France, spending our time hiking, swimming, and breaking down in an Aldi car park. Jits just won't start, not exactly sure why. This week, we say a sad farewell and turn the steering wheel east. It's time to explore Italy. Subscribe and join us for the ride. Hey. Hey, <laughs> Good morning from the Aldi car park. Today is the day that we're moving, trying to move Jits to the garage. Yeah. We tried bump starting her last night and it worked in this tiny car park. So what we've done is we've, last night we moved Sophia behind Jits into two spaces behind so that nobody's gonna park here in the morning, which means we're gonna move, she's gonna reverse back and we're gonna push her forward. Bump start again. Bump start, I take to the garage and then just have a day in Sophia while they wait for her to be fixed. One, two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Well done, guys. <laughs> Good job. Oh. So the bump start was a success. Jits is at least up and running. We're going to follow them to the garage. We're going to follow them to the garage, just make sure that they're okay, that they get there safe. And yeah, we're just going to kind of be with them today while Jits is in the garage. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? No, it wasn't. Thankfully, the car park is empty, so we had a lot of space to do it. This is good, isn't it? You know, little. In the garage. In the hands of the fixed. professionals. Yeah. In the river. Seem very friendly. Oh, that's good. So Just yeah. Gonna wait. And Hopefully they're gonna give us a call by three o'clock. Cool. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Alright, so you're more than welcome. You're absolute legends. It'd been Ooh. such a different story without you guys. Like, a, where would we go now? Beaver, yeah. We had a bump start and we had to spend 250 quid to get it down here. Yeah. See, I probably wouldn't have even thought about bump starting it because I'd just be like, mm, nah. Yeah. <laughs> and we wouldn't have had your spaghetti bolognese. No. Yeah. So I mean, many things to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Hitchhikers, get in. Yeah. I remember some days. It's a little bit later. Oh, we're still waiting on Jits to be fixed. Tanya's cooking up the store. What's it like cooking in Sophia? Oh, I love oh, this. We are very excited. We are very excited because we are at the Peugeot, Peugeot. Peugeot. Um, <laughs> garage and we're about to collect Jits because she is fixed. Yay! With Jits fixed, we all decided to head to the mountains for a change of scenery. What we didn't expect was to be driving straight into a freezing snowstorm. Go to a nice wild park, like we said. There'll be amazing views of Mont Blanc. Is this the spot? Yeah, look, yeah. At, look at the view it's of Mont Blanc over there. View. Yeah, yeah, well done. A good, good find. <laughs> River's never seen snow before. Come on. So, this is a, a week of firsts. A week ago, she was jumping in the hot water of Lake Annecy, 30 degrees. Now, she, now she's in the snow. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's a couple of days later now. Jits is fully fixed, we're out of the Aldi car park. Um, we just spent the last couple of days doing some work. Um, I got the last vlog out and we're editing. And today is a sad day because we were parting ways with Tanya and Adam. Briefly though, it's so not forever. Um, but they're gonna head off into Switzerland and we are gonna head down into Italy and try and chase some sun because the weather has got 
pretty damn cold here in France. We're currently parked in a little ski resort called Samoa, I think is how you pronounce Samoa. it. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the crunching in the background, River's eating her breakfast. But yeah, so in this beautiful little ski resort of Samoa where we just stayed just to get some work done, yeah, this is going to be where we part ways. Sad day. Good morning, neighbours. Good, good morning. morning. Hello. We're getting ready. I'm sad today. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's not. It's not. See, see you later. later. <laughs> yes. yes. I'm gonna miss you more than these two. Yeah. <laughs> they don't give us hugs like you. <laughs> Just to recap, in the last 10 days, what did we do? We played, we played games, games, yeah. hikes, breakdown, breakdown, Aldi car park, <laughs> by a river, up in the snow. It's been the most 30 degree heat. 30 degree <laughs> heat. It's been yes, like yeah. a year of van life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> days. Exactly, yeah. Tan and Adam are going to stay here um, for a couple more days and get their France travel film edited. So I'm going to put another link in the description to their channel below. You have to go and check them out, this film. I've only seen snippets of it, but it's going to be epic and give you serious wanderlust. So, I mean, that might be up. Hopefully it's going to be up the same day that you posted this video. Hopefully it should be up now. So <laughs> that's not pressure. I don't know what is. Pressure, deadline. Oh, God, we're avoiding that. That's it. Our like issues. Good to meet you, mate. <laughs> Lots of love. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you soon, guys. See you soon. Bye. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. That has been an awesome 10 days of Tony and Adam. Very sad to be leaving them, but it We've is. It's done so much as well, it, it's, it's been done really so nice. much, but it is. See you later. We are going to see them again in Italy. They're going to have an epic time in Switzerland before the winter rolls in, so. And we'll meet them back in the sun. Back in the sun. I just had a message from Tanya saying that we forgot something and that Adam is running behind us, so we've just quickly done a U turn and now we're heading back to them. Oh! <laughs> <gasps> what is it? <laughs> oh, vegan chocolate bread and the vegan Merlot wine. Oh, oh, you guys have gone. I ran all the way down there. Oh, oh it's too late. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Didn't Thank mean you. to make you come back. Thank you very much, mate. Awesome. Tanya was like, Adam's running behind you. You forgot something. I was like, what? And she was like, he's behind you. I was like, shit, turn around. <laughs> yeah, quickly did you, huh? <laughs> oh, Sorry, thank I didn't want to make you come back. No, 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 thank you. Thank you oh, you guys are legends. Oh. Thank right. you. Goodbye again. Oh, Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. I, I joked that it was you that we'd forgot, and you were, on, you were just going to jump uh, yeah. into Italy with us. Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That's no, all right. Goodbye again. Goodbye, Goodbye again. Hope you've been done in the yeah. day, and yeah, safe trip. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, 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 have fun. Well, see you later. Thank you guys. Miss you already. And with that, it was time to take the road to Italy. We were taking the direct route straight to the Mont Blanc Tunnel, a seven mile tunnel that passes almost directly beneath the summit of the tallest mountain in Europe. This drive to the Mont Blanc Tunnel is absolutely amazing. Like, I feel like we're at the foot of Mont Blanc. It is just incredible. All we've been saying is, oh, oh. Italy. Country number two. Yeah. 
our first park up isn't the most scenic although we do have views of the mountains um it's just like a, a car park basically but we're both pretty hungry now i've been driving all day and it's just a handy little stopover i'll show you around so that's where we're parked a few of the motorhomes here there's grey water disposal there, bins there and then quite a nice view of some mountains Good morning from our little Italian car park I've um, had a really peaceful night's sleep here actually very quiet it's really handy here because there's grey water disposal and a really good tap for water so Ben's topping up on some water now The plan today is to just keep driving towards the south. We can't find a huge amount of park ups in this, this region of Italy. A lot of them have got like one or two stars on park for a night and or it's banned for camper vans or it's under construction. And we do really want to start heading south. So we are going to just make a beeline for the coast and probably put in a two hour drive today. Shouldn't be too much. And um, yeah, just see where we end up. Well guys, there's our parking spot, as you can see, it's been built on. Right, I need to come back, sorry, I'm going to scuff the wing. Right, there we go. Oh, hang on, let me just reverse it. Okay, so it is quarter to four and we've been driving for hours, oh, there's a little dog over there. Um, and we've parked up where was the first place went oh the first place yeah was being built on and where we've turned up now doesn't look very appealing along here is a nice sloped bit for motorhomes and then oh there's a little jack russell down there and then all around here are construction trucks tractors so it looks like it's a place where the local council put all their like building equipment and they'll probably leave nice and early in the morning. There, it, River, River's seen the little dog mm -hmm. and she's very interested. Um, where we are, there's nowhere, there's nowhere near is there. We are literally- Let like, me show you on my phone. So we're looking on park for night and this is us here. So there is just nothing around us unless we want another couple of hours drive which we don't really want we to don't do. Want that, do we? Yeah, it looks okay, is it? It's definitely a place where they put like their, their local trucks and everything, but the village itself up there looks gorgeous. If it's really sunny and hot, would I feel any different? And I have to say there's like beautiful like rolling hills around, there's limestone cliffs, there's a church in the village. It could be really pretty. I think we're just in like a bit of a shitty car park basically that's like bin lorry depot. There we are just there. So we're literally just about to make a cup of tea and get settled in and Ben was looking at places on park for night to go tomorrow and has found somewhere that looks beautiful. There's near a hot spring, near some hikes, really high rating on park for night. It's two and a half hours away and Ben suggested driving there tonight. So it's like well, four o'clock now. My thinking is I'd rather drive another two and a half hours. That'll get us there by 6.30ish rather than waste a night sat in this car park and then driving tomorrow when we can just do it today. We've done a lot of driving already, get it done with there and then we can just stay there for a couple of days until we go to Pisa. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah. That's a long driving day. It's like five, six hours. But. Yeah. Okay, River. We're gonna move on to somewhere new. Somewhere new. Sometimes it is worth the extra drive. We've got like a river here and apparently there's a hot springs. The river can run around freely. This is worth that extra two and a half hour drive yeah. for sure. I don't think we're going to be disturbed. I think that's a hotel there, but I think it's all closed down at the moment. There is a village down there that looks really beautiful. Cup of tea? Yes. Oh. 
something we all slept very well here last night after the drive of yesterday mm. do you know it's so peaceful here it's a bit overcast today but there's a river down there and apparently a hot springs which we're gonna go and see if we can find things coming in and going I do apologise for how tired I look today, but this place is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It's amazing. And is the water warm? It's, it's... As you know, Ben doesn't like cold water, so I thought this might be a good... River's already splashing away. River! <laughs> River! Come here! That's it. Well, this park up was 100% worth that. Oh my god, reckon that's warm. Oh my god, look at the pool down here. Just when we thought we're getting out, Ben thought it was getting his breakfast. I reckon that's cold. It looks like a plunge pool, but I'm gonna go and check it out anyway. Cold? Oh, that is <laughs> so basically, I just read on a little sign about these hot springs. There's a stream, which is obviously what's behind me, or more of a little river, um, and that's all the fresh water. And then on one side of the bank is just like this string of thermal pools with hot water coming in and over the years the locals have kind of created these pools out of rocks and yes yeah, so you've got one side is the stream or the cold water one side is the hot water and it is just the most beautiful picturesque little spot okay so my hair is washed and the rain has stopped and we are going to go and take a little walk into the village that's just at the other end of this little car park it is a little bit windy and i don't have a wind muff for this camera unfortunately Hi guys, well we've walked through the village so far and we've seen four people, four old guys just sat outside the coffee shop, no one else around, it's so eerily quiet, it's unbelievable. This, wow is absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you. I think because of everything that's been going on, everywhere is just closed up. There's some apparently caves you can go into, but they're all closed. Uh, we're out, we're here out of season, aren't we? So, you know, with COVID being out of season in a small remote village, wasn't going to expect it to be open, but they're absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I think we figured out that there's a huge cave here that's usually open and like around here there's like a natural spring, there's a prehistoric rock shelter up there, there's like a nature path through the woods, what else is there? The giant's kettle over there apparently, but it's all closed but it looks so beautiful, like the water is like blue from all the minerals here and it is just like a little fairy tale isn't it? And we're the only ones here aren't we? The only ones here, we can't go in there, everything's closed. So we had a, a, yeah, a nice little stroll around. It's a chest, nice little stroll around, and it is gorgeous here. But it is the prettiest. So so quiet, isn't it? I don't it? know if it's like quite. It's quite sad because there's so much of it is closed up, and I don't know how much of it is seasonal, COVID, or obviously now a mixture of both. Come on, River, come on. Um, but I can imagine, in, like in the summertime, this is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it is yeah. like walking through like a. Like a storybook village. Mm. But all the little like winding alleys and things, all the beautiful small little Italian houses, oh it was gorgeous. There was, um, I don't know if we caught it on camera, like little um, sections where they'd have like a goat maybe in the street, which is hay and things, but yeah, yeah, so. And they've all got Italian flags hanging out the window, which is really cool. Yeah, very cool. But we're gonna head back now, aren't we? And get cozy for the rest of the evening, I think, before we head off tomorrow. Glad to see Jits is like yeah. being sorted and you're okay. And I'm not just saying all this because the camera's on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We love chocolate spread around here. Yeah. It's so 
Do you, where, I'm, where, where I'm going Sophia? to Switzerland. I'm going to Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be weird because obviously we spent the last 10 days with Adam and Tanya. So I've just got a stick of chest tonight. Maybe River and I could do something. I need the cooler.